In this video, I'm going to go over how to do lookups in pivot tables. So in this data set, you know, we've got a range of regions and we want to line up to the corresponding market. Now, inside of a pivot table, you know, we can't, or inside of any table, we can't nest in these, these lookup functions right in, right in here. So it's automatically doing a lookup. These are, these are going to be values. They're summing them up. So it's not, not something that we can just embed within this, but there is a way to work around this. And that's simply just by using a VLOOKUP on its own. So for example, what we might be tempted to do is, let's say, just copy the formatting here. And let's say we wanna call this market. So pretend as if we've got, got that data as part of our pivot table. So it looks like it belongs. So what we can do is use the VLOOKUP function and simply select select that region. You can still see it still selects that, that cell properly. And then in our table array, you know, select these entire two columns, specify we want the second column and look for an exact match with false for our last argument. And easy enough, it works, right? We've got the lookup, it pulls in all the correct information. Now, the one drawback of this is obviously this is not going to be um, terribly dynamic. So, for example, if we decide, okay, we don't want to include every single market or every single region, just want to pick and choose random ones. Now we've got something that looks like this. this isn't terribly optimal to do. What you may want to do in this case is add an if function at the beginning to say, okay, if this is equal to blank, then leave it as blank. Otherwise, let's do the VLOOKUP and then close this out. And then you've got that. It still gives you an NA error when you're looking at the grand total. So we could do something like add an OR function to say, okay, if A9 is equal to the grand total or A9 is blank, then we're going to leave it as blank. And there we go. Now we fix that. And so what you might be tempted to do is copy this formula as far down, you know, as you may need it. Because it's always checking if that uh, value in column A is blank, then you're safe. It's not going to fill up your, your, your table with, with errors. So that way, you know, if we change this to say, okay, let's add a few more entries, you know, our formula looks dynamic enough that um, it looks like it fits in with the rest of our pivot table. So we can do lookups and by using an if statement and an or statement combined, we can make them dynamic enough so it'll look as though they're expanding along with our selections. Now, another thing you may just want to consider doing is simply putting these values, these markets, adding them into your data source. And that'll make it a bit easier um, to, to set it up. And then you don't have to do a lookup. So for example, I'm gonna delete this column right now. And instead, what I'm gonna do is go to my data set and where I've got the region here, I'm gonna insert a column and call this market. And then do my lookup from here. So V lookup, select this value, go back to my pivot table tab, select this range, and do my usual lookup. Copy it down. And this can be a one time exercise. So I've got some errors in here, but we clean those out. So we're good to go. And then what we could do is copy this entire data set, control C, and then you can paste this values if you've got control shift V on the newest, on the newer versions of Excel. Otherwise you can right click paste values. But essentially we're pasting the values because we don't want to keep the formulas in there because that could slow down our, um, our file if it's always doing calculations and it probably doesn't need to be uh, constant lookup being done unless you're unless you're going to be changing these values over time. So presumably our need for the lookup table is over and instead now we can just refresh our our data set and we've got that new column in there for market. So I can just pull that in 
next to the region. And I'm just going to remove the subtotal and change my pivot table um, design so that it's in a tabular format. And so I'm going to get rid of my table, my lookups here. But as you can see, now we've got the region and the market. I may just want to change the, the look of this a little bit. But as you can see, now we've got the region and the market. So instead of doing a V lookup, um, you know, we just put it on our data set and it's a lot easier to, to access it. You can still do a V lookup with a pivot table and by using if and or functions, it's a lot easier to make it appear dynamic because, you know, if it shows a grand total or if it's a blank, they were effectively ignoring it, but it's a lot cleaner and easier. You know, if we just put it right into our data set and then just include that field into our pivot table. If it's not possible, then, you know, you may want to go through the, through the VLOOKUP route, obviously, but there's a number of ways that you can approach this to incorporate it into your data so you have that capability to do that VLOOKUP. Um, if you're not able to incorporate it in your data, I would say just use the IF function, the OR function, and, and that way at least you can make it appear dynamic when you're updating um, your pivot table selections.